So with the One Punch Man and Overwatch collaboration event being announced, we now know that this will inevitably open the door for other future collabs. What's really cool and different about how Overwatch appears to be doing it is it's more of a cosplay style collaboration. And by that, what I mean is that each of the heroes are going to continue to maintain their same level of characteristics and their appearances, except now this clothing or the apparel or some sort of the design will be different to make them look a lot more like the hero that they're essentially cosplaying. Personally, the reason why I think they're going this route is because of how popular it already is to cosplay Overwatch heroes. Furthermore, Fortnite has already done the full skin collab, so you can play as Deku and Goku and Ryu and all of those other characters. So doing it this way makes it way more different and unique. But in today's video, let's talk about a future collabs that I would think would be great for Overwatch. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on it and let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So as you saw already, Doomfist is going to be cosplaying Saitama for the event. This really shouldn't come as any surprise as Doomfist literally just punches people and his entire kit is built around his fists. But what you may not have known is that Soldier 76 is going to be getting the Moomin Rider skin. I find this actually kind of hilarious because Soldier is pretty much the most cookie cutter hero that you can play. And Moomin Rider is literally the most basic hero that you can find. Except I'd argue that Soldier is definitely better than Moomin. The best part about this though is that this skin is going to be entirely free. I think making this skin free is great because that means any other future collabs that possibly happen, we can see even more free skins a part of these collabs. And we all know that the veteran Overwatch community wants their free skins and are dying for them. A few other ideas for this collab is I think that Sojourn is going to be cosplaying Genos. Now I know Genos is very much a guy and Sojourn is very much not, but honestly, it seems like a more viable pick. Also, we already know that Overwatch doesn't really care which gender they identify as because they gave Junker Queen the Zeus skin, meaning they're not really making these gender exclusive skins so anyone can kind of cosplay anyone. So I think since Genos is a cyborg and Sojourn is pretty much the same thing, you might as well just have Sojourn play as Genos. Next, I think that Tracers should be Sonic and not the blue hamster Sonic, Sonic from One Punch Man. They both have the same build and are literally known for their mobility. Not only that, if you consider the fact that Doomfist and Tracer fought in the cinematic, and think about the fact that Saitama has also fought Speed of Sonic, and, and Doomfist is getting a Saitama skin, and Tracer could get the Speed of Sonic skin, which would kind of line up with the whole cinematic history too. Not only that, is making a skin for her wouldn't be that difficult, and, and I think it would easily be one of her best skins. Those are really the only One Punch Man skin ideas that I can think of, but I would love to know what you guys would love to see with some of your heroes playing some of these characters, so leave those down in the comments below. Next, let's talk about probably the easiest collab they could possibly do, and that's Marvel. Now, I know this may be a little cliche since Fortnite literally has already done this, and Marvel is kind of one of the easier collabs to do. But the biggest difference here is, as I stated earlier, is that this is more of like a cosplay and not the actual character coming into Overwatch. So far, it looks like that's this is the path they're going to take where they keep the base skin features and just kind of add on to it an outfit. So a few heroes that I think would fit perfectly for Marvel skins would be this Hawkeye as Hanzo, Reaper as Ghost Rider, and Doomfist as Thanos. I don't really think that anyone would disagree that these skins are literally a perfect fit for each of these heroes. One thing that I think would be pretty insane is if they were able to get more Marvel skins into the game and kind of run like a Battle for Olympus style event, but instead this time being Marvel themed. They already stated that they were excited how it turned out and wanted to make more changes to it. Uh, because they didn't expect as many people to grind the challenges for some reason. Regardless, this would be a perfect opportunity for them to run another event similar to this, except this time as a collab event. I can really see them dropping this event with the PvE or kind of around the same time as it, seeing that we already know that this is coming and give us another way to enjoy the new game mode. Also, since it's taking longer for them to implement it than we thought, they might as well give players a little bit more incentive to try it out. Now for this next collab idea, I think this would literally be one of the coolest collabs. I would love to see them add Pokemon to Overwatch. Now hear me out. I know this is kind of like two polar opposites, but when you look at Wrecking Ball and tell me that this wouldn't be the most perfect skin that you've ever seen. Like look at it, like Hamster cosplaying Pikachu and the ball literally turning red on top and it probably it's probably white on the bottom so it'd be look like a literal pokeball this is easily one of the most perfect fits especially since ash finally won and did it with pikachu come on that's got to be one of the best ways to go out it's also important to mention that ash winning means they're finally retiring him so 
If I had to guess, that means Pikachu is going to be re retired along with him. And since Pikachu might be one of the most iconic faces of our generation, I think it would be a great reason for them to bring him to Overwatch. Now, the only thing I see as why Pokemon maybe wouldn't want this collab to happen is because Wrecking Ball uses guns and Pikachu doesn't. On top of that, when Wrecking Ball gets eliminated, he literally explodes. But I see that more so as an animation opportunity instead of making him explode, make it look like he's returning into the Pokeball and it kind of like disappearing. But I could see slight hesitation from them considering the fact that Pokemon is more of like a kid-friendly-esque style game. So it might clash in that regard, but other than that, I see it being a great fit. Also think that this Diva Pikachu skin is a pretty cool idea too, and this will allow you to play as both Ash and Pikachu, although I prefer the Wrecking Ball skin much more. The last collab ideas I think would be great to add are going to be a few anime crossovers. Starting off, we got this Tracer Kilua skin. Honestly, I think it looks really sick and is a great parallel to both the characters. Again, they're both known for their movement. Tracer could easily pull off the hairstyle and they're both really short. So it seems like a great fit to me. You've also got the ability for this Ash Jojo skin. She's already got the highlight intro calling in a stand. So you might as well just make this one happen. Bob also is pretty much literally a stand in the game when you throw him out there and he's helping you fight. So, and again, I don't think this is anything that would be hard for them to pull off. Not only that, it would be a collab that no other game has really gotten a hold of, which is another reason why I'm excited for the One Punch Man collab is because it's one that no one's really doing. I mean, the Naruto, Dragon Ball, and My Hero anime collabs are all kind of made sense, they're very popular. But JoJo's is also pretty popular too, and I think getting their hands on that one would be pretty good. But there you have my Overwatch collaboration ideas that I think would fit really well into the game. Again, comment down below any ideas that you have that you would love to see come into Overwatch. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on it. If you wanna come back and see more Overwatch content, smash that sub button and turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video.